Hi, this is Erling with Travel Trail Sale. This morning we're making coffee in a Brew Trek French press. Judy and I recently were at Overland Expo checking out all the cool camping gear. And one of the things we came across was a company, Brew Trek, that makes coffee making equipment for campers. So we said that might be a great thing to check out. Normally, when we're camping in our travel trailer, we have electricity. But we figured someday we'd be camping and have no electricity. And this weekend, we're in a yurt. So we're gonna make our coffee outside and we've got a, a Coleman grill all set up. We've got our percolator pot to heat the water in. And so we're gonna make some coffee in this French press. Now, how this works, this is actually an insulated mug that you can drink your coffee from. But the way you would do it is you take off the lid and inside there's a press. So we'll add our grounds and hot water. And then what we're gonna do is put the press back in. We'll actually squeeze it out like that, put it on top. And when the coffee has had a chance to brew for a few minutes, we'll go ahead and push the press down to get the grounds to the bottom of the mug. Now, one of the things they told us was that this is easy to clean up. I've used French presses before, and sometimes they're just a little bit messy. You get all the grounds that have to be cleaned out. On this one, you just open this cup up on the bottom, and you can see where the press is, and the grounds are all supposed to go into this cup. And that's supposed to make cleanup super easy. Well, we'll see in just a few minutes. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and get started. We'll uh, heat up some water, get some grounds in here, and make some tasty camping coffee. So to make coffee, typically use two tablespoons of grounds for every cup of water. I'll be honest, I'm not quite sure how many cups of water the brew track can hold, so I'm gonna guess this morning. But I did um, grind up, I roasted some fresh coffee and ground it up, and I made it a coarse grind, which is what you need for a percolator or a French press, as opposed to a finer ground that you might use in a drip coffee maker. So let's get some grounds in here. Oh, that smells so good. I can't wait to have a freshly brewed cup of coffee. And you really cannot beat freshly roasted, freshly ground coffee. All right, let's take the lid off here. As you can hear, we're heating up the water. Now you don't actually want the water to be boiling. You want it to be just shy of boiling. Definitely hot, but not boiling. And because it is going to be hot, don't forget your oven mitt. All right, we've got hot water. Let's get it in the mug. I've been patiently waiting for this coffee to brew, and it's time. Let's press the press. Oh, I can't wait to taste this tasty coffee brewed in a French press camping mug. Mmm, 
that's really good. I had the chance to try this Brew Trek French Press Insulated Mug Coffee Maker. And let's see, the coffee tastes really good. You do need a way to heat the water. I used a percolator pot, but you could use a jet boil or some other way to heat the water. As long as you have coffee and hot water, you can have a tasty cup of coffee. I was able to drink it right from the mug. The French press, the, the press part kept the grounds to the bottom. So I didn't get any grit or coffee grounds in my coffee, so that's good. Uh, in terms of cleanup, once you have uh, drank all the coffee in there, you simply unscrew the bottom to clean it out. It did clean up pretty easily. Uh, we had to wipe the grounds out and then give it a quick rinse and then it was ready to make the next pot. So overall, I would say this is a really good coffee making system and I'm glad we gave it a try. So I'm glad that I'm trying the French press from Brew Trek. There's so many ways to make coffee when you're camping. You could just make it in a percolator. You could heat water and do a pour over or do instant coffee. How do you make coffee when you're camping? I'd love to hear all about it. Please leave us a comment. But for now, I'm gonna sit out in the woods and enjoy my tasty cup of coffee before going out on an outdoor adventure. Thanks for joining us. Can't wait to see you again next time. Bye.